back to our channel so here today i got a very interesting video for you which is related to this microsoft excel technique so let me explain that i received this kind of uh, data from one of our client so this is their actually attendance sheet or attendance system uh, they get some data from their attendance machine and then they convert it into something looking like this in which they are having these days or date of the month for which uh, the records are shown in the form of columns and then there are serial numbers which i can un um, identify as employee ids and then i have just hidden this column of names uh, just for confidentiality and then there is this designation available for each person and the data that they get from their machine which is a biometric machine is of this kind there's name as well but i have just deleted it so i am considering this thing as employee id the day on which the attendance was marked and the time and then the department from which this person belongs so what usually they used to do is that they used to do it manually by putting a filter over here and then shortlist for example number two but there was a so these are the all attendance of um, employee number two for different days but there was a problem and the problem was they would only get um and th there is a possibility the person actually and um you can say marked their attendance twice a day for example this is 936 936 there are two times this person has um marked his attendance but they would uh, that the person who was working with the payroll he would take this uh, time over here and put it over here manually against this person so uh, i just want to automate this thing this was the background of the so I, j I just need to create this kind of a sheet so let's see how can we do it uh, using um, different techniques in excel so first of all what we will do is that this is a very suitable data for pivot table what i will do i will just select control shift right click and con um, by clicking uh, pressing the control shift i will uh, press the down button so it will select the all records i will uh, press ctrl t or command t in the case of uh, microsoft uh, sorry mac macbook so i will say okay it will convert it into a table now i will go to insert i will just click pivot table and i will be directed to a new sheet if i click okay so this is a pivot table and how we work with a pivot table is that i i just need names over here for that i don't have name over here i have employee id so i will put employee ids in my uh, rows so i will just select employee ids and drag it to rows so it will select all the employee ids over here the second thing that they have in their sheet if i look at the sheet is the date or time or the days you would say so I will just go over there, I will select day and I will put it into columns um, area. So now you will see, I will I have this employee IDs over here, you can put name as well and then I have um, dates in my columns. Then I will select time and I will drag it to values box. But it just gave me that value count. If you see over here, it is count of time. So it is like... Um, for employee id with employee id number four he actually marked his attendance two times but i just want to take the attendance of that person how can i do that i will just uh, zoom out a bit so that i can select all of my cells i just don't need that uh, you can say uh, this grand total one so i just selected all of these i will just go and select time from here so it will mark a time but the time will be again 12 am so what i need to do further i will just put this right click on this so it will show me let me select this and right click on that it will give me an option in which i will select minimum why i'm selecting minimum because i just want the first time that they checked in currently they are just dealing with the uh, first time check in so they mark their attendance uh, whether they are present or not so i will just click on that so i will receive the same data sheet that they have created in which they have these attendance as well on sundays so 
but in like less than a minute they used to spend three days on it and we can do it in less than a minute another thing that they would do is that they would calculate a uh, number of uh, days that the person has worked what i will do is that i will click and select all data paste it on a new date for example like um here and i would like to paste it as a value and then i will just de delete this last column i don't need this column and if i want to count their um, attendance in a, in a month what i will do is, is equal to and i will put a formula called count a which means that it will count anything in a cell so i will just select these days and i will close the bracket it will give me a count of 14 and then i will just double click it it will give me days how many days each person has worked so if i see uh, i will notice that there are this person has worked only eight days and we can see those eight days these are the eight days that he has worked again you can convert it into time by selecting it like i did over here thank you so much for watching if you have any other uh query in your mind or if you have any problem which you want to solve me on excel please share your file or comment in uh, just below the video thank you so much